What's going on, my lovely little slasher fans? Slay and Asher here, bringing you episode one of I Am Setsuna Redux. Now, you may be asking, what's up with the Redux in the title? Well, simply put, Redux means to redo or re revive or something along those lines. And this is an LP that's being revived now. It's like I said in the previous video, if you haven't already watched it, you know, you know the usual. Link will be down in the description. This is going to be the start of how I want all my LPs to be from this point forward. It's got a lot of work going to be involved in every one of these episodes. There's going to be instances where I have to record new things. And I'm sorry, my dog is getting ready to bark at nothing. And I was trying to stop her before she started. I'm going to be doing a lot of like audio clips and extra stuff and all sorts of things. So... Bear with me at first until I get into the swing of things and everything again, but all that being said, let's go ahead and start a new game. A new game will be started. Is this okay? abso freaking lootly Do you want to turn on in-game voices? Can be changed later from the settings menu. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go with... N Do I want to go with no? Let's go with no. Because that way I can just read everything. And I know I'm not talking over anyone's voices. Hmm. It seems you live up to the rumors. A natural mercenary. Or. Perhaps my own skills as a mercenary simply grow weak. I am Hapspur. I will be working with you on this mission. What is your name? Do you want to change Endir's name? No. Nice to be working with you, Endir. How's it going, guys? This is going to be a brief rundown of the main character of the game, Endir, and exactly what he's capable of doing. Endir in himself is a tank character. He is capable of taking hits and he's capable of dishing out pretty large amounts of damage. He's tied for third in overall physical attack, which is pretty decent considering you only have, I think, six party members. So being tied for third basically means he has one of the highest attacks in the game. Unfortunately, he also has the third lowest overall magic attack. So don't rely on him for magical abilities too much. He's not really going to be able to do a lot to help you. Plus side of being a tank character, he does have the second highest overall HP, so he's really going to be able to soak up some hits before he goes down in battle. Second in physical defense as well. So, that being said, tied with HP, like I said, he's really going to be able to soak up those hits. And as long as you've got somebody in the party who can keep him healed, he's going to be around and he's going to be incredibly valuable to you on the battlefield. He's got an average speed stat, which speed is a hidden statistic in the game. You can't see it. But after scouring hours and hours and hours of forums and websites and wiki pages, I found how to calculate it and how to figure it out. So I'm not going to go into it here because it's a huge pain in the butt. But just trust me when I say he's average. He's right in the middle when it comes to speed. So he's not going to go last in combat. But odds are he's not going to go first either unless there are slower characters on the field. And because some of his skills do take a decent amount of MP, he does have a decent MP pool, but a lot of his skills are going to take quite a bit of MP. As you can see on this skill list that just popped up on screen, I don't have the MP listed because, well, I'm an idiot and I didn't think to put it on this one. I'll probably include it on later slides, but this one, it doesn't have it. His highest MP cost skill by far, though, is Medio. Summons a meteor shower that causes magical damage, no, which basically means non-elemental to all enemies, and 50% of the time it's going to ignore their defense, so it's a really good skill. And like I said, this is a list of all the skills he gets in the game, and as we progress into the game, I will break down how to get each one of these skills, what talismans and items and all that you need to craft said talismans to get these skills. We'll go into all that as we progress further in the game, but I just wanted to give you all a quick rundown of who Endir is and what he can do. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get back to the game. Our mission is to recover a young girl who has been kidnapped by monsters. Your job will be to exterminate any monsters we encounter along the way. Once we are done, I shall return the girl to our client. Of course. Oh, sorry, got a case of the yawns. If she's still alive, that is. 
Let us begin right away. Are you ready to go? How about you? <laughs> you don't mess around, eh, hey, dear? Yes, I'm ready. Of course, I won't be getting involved in the combat, except in an advisory capacity. It'll be a good chance for me to see your ability. Come on, let's go. Okay, it has been a while since I've played this game, so I'm going to be quite rusty at the controls. It seems we have already entered their territory. Time to get to work, Endear. Ready to go? Of course. And I'm sorry for that, guys. Of course my dog wants to play because, you know, it's like 1240 at night. Why wouldn't she want to play right now? I mean, I'm just saying. Good. I knew I could count on you. A puny foe, but you can never be too careful. If you approach without it noticing, you should be able to strike first. Oh, the stupid yawns, they won't go away. <laughs> Encounters. When you move within a certain distance of monsters, battle will begin. If you approach monsters from the front, they will enter guard mode. However, if you approach them from behind, their guard will be down. You will then start the battle with full ATB and SP gauges. Allowing you to make a preemptive attack, the ATB and SP gauges are both essential to combat and will be explained later on. In combat, tactics are everything. Stay calm and focused at all times. Active time battles. Oh, I'm sorry the yawns won't stop. Once battle begins, your character's ATB active time battle gauges, which are displayed at the bottom of the screen, will start to fill up. Once one of your character's gauges is full, his or her command list will be displayed. Select the command and a target, and the character will then perform that action. When more than one character has a full ATB gauge, you can press the left and right directional buttons to move, or move the left stick, le or move the left stick left and right to switch between, char between characters. And I can't English tonight either. Although they aren't displayed on the screen, monsters also have ATB gauges and will perform actions once they are full. Of course, I am sure you are already well aware of this. Here it comes. Okay, so what's going on, my lovely little slasher fans? You know who it is at this point. This is Slay and Asher. This is the first of many slides you're going to see in the course of my I Am Set Let's Play I Am Setsuna Redux. Basically, each one of these slides is just going to give you a basic rundown of what enemies can do. I'm going to do my best to do it on every enemy in the game. I may not necessarily do breaks in the video like I am right now. I may put them in at the end of the video so you can see, hey, you can get this from this one, this from this one, so on and so forth. But for this very first slide, we got our very first enemy in the game, as you just saw at the beginning of that battle, the Pengi. As you can see, it's got an HP, HP amount of 51. It gives you 4 EXP. Its abilities include the slap, abil or the slap attack. Slap, I guess. It slaps a uh, party member multiple times, dealing multiple hits. Then you got dive. He slides on his belly and nose dives into a tardy. A tardy? Really? Really, Scott? Really? A target party member dealing damage. And then he's got the focus, which lets him raise his attack stat for three turns. You're going to find him in the Himcop Forest, the Dashshire Woods, and Serendale. Now, drops in this game don't work like drops in most traditional RPGs. In most traditional RPGs, you have a normal drop. And a rare drop you see that here but in this game they have got a lot more you've got overkill which is when you do more hp than the enemy has that'll get you that you have an exact kill which you do the exact amount of hp worth of damage to an enemy in multiple attacks as long as it comes out to the exact number of their hp it's an exact kill then you have elemental kills fire kill water kill light kill shadow kill time kill like that, your your elemental abilities, you, each one of those is going to earn you, in some cases, different items. In other cases, as you can see here with like the fire kill and the water kill, it gets you the same. No, no, it doesn't. It gets you the, okay, but with the fire kill and the time kill, sorry guys, I'm new at this. I'm trying to get the hang of it. You get the same thing. Then you have momentum kills. Momentum kills haven't come into play yet at this point. So we'll talk about that once they come into play and exactly what all that means. 
debuff kill basically I think means you kill them while they're debuffed like attack down defense down whatever all that I really haven't gotten into it link kill is when you kill an enemy again we haven't gotten to this but I'll go ahead and explain it it's when you kill an enemy who with two characters who are using a linked skill like cross attack X attack Omega triangle ruby that's not an attack but I'm, I'm just I'm making up words and using them for for instance here but as you can see I've also got what the enemies look like I'll do my best like I said to do this for every enemy in the game I may miss some here and there but I can almost guarantee you that if I do miss it in one video I will probably cover it in the next so hopefully anybody out there watching this this does help you a little bit and help you find some of those harder to find items and with that let's go ahead and get back to the game all right, we're gonna go ahead and attack the pengi. Focus, oh, that puts his attack up. All right, hit him again, that should, no, 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 it hadn't dropped him yet. Oh, he slapped me, rude little thing. All right, obtained four EXP. As you can see, we have a little gauge under our character portrait, which gives us, and I, gives us, a gauge a way to gauge how much we have to the next level as you can see we got a ways to go obtained majestic crest times one you obviously know what you're doing we should be safe for now let us head on oh excuse me all right well let's head on There are more of them than before. Use the tech to take them all out at once. You have Spearnite stones on you, I presume. Spearnite? What? Even though we know what it is, let's go ahead and, you know, make the tutorial happy. You mean to say you have never used Spearnite? What astonishing natural talent you must possess. You receive Cyclone from Hapspur. 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 Why am I suddenly having problems saying his name? Equipping Spearnite allows you to use text. Try that stone out. Spearnite. Spearnite are stones that are imbued with magical energy. Equipping them allows your characters uh, characters to obtain a wide range of powers. There are two types of Spearnite. Command Spearnite allows your characters to use different texts during battle from and from the text menu, while Support Spearnite grant effects that occur automatically during battle. Spearnite can be equipped from the menu. This is done by inserting them into slots combined contained in talismans. At first, your characters will only have one slot, but they will gain more as their levels increase and by equipping different talismans. Hold on, my eye itches. There are three types of slot. One for Command Spear Knight, one for Support Spear Knight, and ones that can be used to equip either type of Spear Knight. Just having your possession is not enough. You must not forget to equip it. Okay, so we're going to go to... Spear Knight? All Spear Knight. Cyclone. It is officially equipped. Okay. Be careful. Alright. Tech. Cyclone. Pengi. Ooh. Nice. I, I did not say you could hit me. Okay, we're gonna go tech. Cyclone. Pengi again. Exact kills. Nice. That give me extra. Yeah, no, I take that back. It'll give me extra item drops. Obtained 8 EXP. Majestic Crest times 2 and Sturdy Sheet Metal times 2. Nice job. Come, let us hurry on. A glowing ring of light. You can sense a faint magical energy emanating from inside it. What's... What is the matter? What's this? Hmm. What is what? 
sensed the presence of monsters further inside the woods, did you? All the more reason for us to hurry on. Save points are rings of light found in area maps that allow you to record your current progress in the game. If you step inside these rings of light and press the X button, you will be asked whether or not you want to save your progress. Alternatively, you can open the main menu while inside the ring and select the save option. Save points are only found at certain points within area maps. However, when on the world map, which we will reach later on in the game, you will be able to save your progress at any time from the main menu. Please note that this game does not save automatically. Making sure to save regularly will be essential to your journey's success. So let's go ahead and step inside the ring here. Do you want to save your progress? Yes. Now, as you can see, 8 to 811 811 819 819 that is the last time i played this game but we're gonna go ahead and go new data we're gonna go ahead and save this and i guess right here is as good a place as any to go ahead and end off this first episode like i said i'm kind of gonna do these shorter episodes at first just till i can get in the swing of things Oh, excuse me, guys. My allergies are killing me right now. But all that being said, I hope y'all did enjoy today's episode. And if you did, please be sure you hit that like button down below. And if, you, you know, if you're feeling frisky, slide on over and hit that share button. I appreciate all the support. All that being said, y'all know who I am. I'm Slaying Asher. I'm the guy who talks in your ear while he plays video games. I'm going to get out of here for right now. But y'all have yourselves a good one. And you know what? I'm going to see y'all in the next episode.